everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kinky Politics. I am your host, Kai, and unfortunately, Coogs Jordan, as I so lovingly call him, Coogs, is not here with us. He had some issues, and so he's here, here in spirit. But today's on today's podcast, we have Kristen, <laughs> who... Um, Actually, I know from work, we worked together um, when I, when was this, 2015, 2016? Oh my gosh, ages, yeah. A long time ago, when I- A while ago, yeah. When I first moved to Sydney and she was my like first real friend. So, um, oops, forgot to put my timer on, now it's on. Um, so please, if you're watching, give her a nice warm hug from the screen. She's great. And today's topic is catcalling. Mm -mm. So I thought it would be fitting for us women to discuss what we think about catcalling. Um, and I know I kind of sprung this on you a bit, Kristen. You did, as of last I night. <laughs> so. So that everyone uh, is aware, I did just ask Kristen to, to do this as of late. And so she's a little, you know, she's, she's coming into this, you know, a bit, uh, I don't know the word. A bit but slowly. And I'm, <laughs> this is my first podcast. So Good yeah. Day, girl. You're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, what, what are your thoughts as a woman on catcalling? Okay, so yesterday you said to me catcalling, and my initial thoughts were wolf whistling. Uh -huh. And I actually had to go look this up because catcalling apparently now is like full blown sexual harassment. Like, I mean, beyond wolf whistling, it's using the C word, you know, like everything. That's what, um, that's what it involves. Apparently, apparently, according to the internet, yes. Are you serious? Yeah, well, this is, but I Googled last night when you okay. threw this on me. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> I, uh -oh. Well, it's I was, because I was I like know. quite up on the cat calling, like, I'm thinking construction workers just same. A bit of a wolf. Same. Okay. Yeah. So, so, I, so I just looked it up on the Merriam-Webster uh, dictionary <laughs> and it says the act of shouting, harassing, and off, often sexually suggestive, threatening, or derise, derisive, derisive. Wow. What? Derisive? Derisive. That's it. De divisive? No, derisive. <laughs> derisive. That's what I thought at first. That's why I was like, yeah. <laughs> derisive, derisive comments at someone publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So obviously the, the word encompasses a lot of things, but, but whistling and shouting from construction workers is definitely what I was thinking of too. Um, I'm not talking, I wasn't really talking about the cat call where someone is just like chasing like one time I was cat called and um when I was in college and this guy like stalked me for like a whole like 30 minutes just like from, okay from class to class you know so but you know and it was just kind of like hey girl hey girl um hey I just wanted to see if I could get to know you I'm just being creepy right you know and I was like <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Just being your mini stalker at the moment and being totally creepy. <laughs> right. Um, and that's, you know, for me, that was harassment. Um, and I don't like that, you know. But but for me, um, yeah, I was kind of thinking of just like catcalling, like someone approaching you or someone saying like, well, beeping the horn or, you know, whistling you're right from the construction work yeah. construction workers or things like that i'm not talking about anything that's like hey bitch <laughs> yes Get over we're here. using the c word as they do yes in yes. australia a lot because okay. huh do they uh, in queensland yeah <laughs> as in but to like to to make you like come over um 
No, maybe not so much to make you come over, but in like regular conversation. Um, yeah. Heard it from a guy to me a few times that, yeah. Which is shocking in America, right? That's, wait, wait, yeah. What do you mean? Can you give me an example? Um, <laughs> I was at the pharmacy one day and it was like, this C can go first. And I just looked at the guy. I was like, sorry, what? He didn't even know you? <laughs> and he was like he was laughing about it and the pharmacist laughed about it and I was like this is no 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 I thought it was offensive I thought that term was offensive what um apparently it's used as like hey mate oh wow no if yeah he's calling me the c word someone yeah, but like everyone was like oh it's cool like he's calling you a friend I'm like mm, no oh my god no that's a lot that's a lot it was a lot it was a lot and it's that's kind of crazy. it reminds me of like because because obviously it's the, it's a difference between the cultures but yeah um but as we know the c word is is anatomy it's human anatomy so it's like yeah. why are you doing this like why are you calling someone like it's it was I've noticed still a lot more from moving up to Queensland. I'll okay. put it that way than Sydney. Like I, I never really heard it down there, and people always commented on it. But like up here, I was like, "Whoa, this is like used." Wow. Like, hey, buddy. <laughs> okay. So, what are your thoughts on catcalling? Like, what? Like, do you have any thoughts on it? Or, um, I guess like for me, I it doesn't bother me like the honking of the horn or the wolf whistling or anything like that um I'm okay with that for yeah. me like that's as a female I don't know I don't know if that's wrong with me being okay with that but like no girl it's your opinion I, I'm fine with it but I think it's once it steps to step past up. that and like that's when you asked me to do this last night <laughs> when I actually looked it up I was like Maybe I don't quite understand the term catcalling. No, as much I think as you do. No, I think you do. I think you do. Yeah. I think but that, like when I was looking it up and people were saying like, you know, maybe using the C word or other words as that's considered catcalling. Now I'm like, oh. Okay. Okay. There's a boundary. Yeah, definitely a, a boundary because um, no one's calling me that. I would kill someone. No. I mean, but, like, how do you feel about, like, wolf whistling or anything like that? Beeping of the horn? Are you cool with it? Are you? I am. Yes! Oh, my yes. God. I am. But I, I will tell you why I am like this, especially now. So before, like, okay. So this is how I think of it, right? Um, when I was a kid and when you started to transition, um, like, your body started to transition to like puberty and like, yeah. you started to get into boys and boys started to notice you and stuff like that. Any boys your age were making fun of you or not particularly nice to you or they were yeah. just like your friends, right? But once I did develop and I started to look a little bit more like a woman instead of a boy, excuse me, um, <laughs> You know, just, are you giggling about this? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Just bringing out your 13 year old self. Definitely. Um, yeah. You know, I go to the mall with like my girlfriends, my friends, and like a guy who was older than me would cat call and be like, hey, what's your name? What's your name? Or like, you know, yell it. And that was my like, uh like radar or like sign for me to think to, to say to myself like oh wait it's not in my head I'm actually not a boy any I don't look like a boy you know what I mean yeah. like, I yeah. am actually a woman and, and I am pretty like it was part of my meter to know yeah. that, like the outside world outside of myself and my family and people who just felt like they wanted to be nice to me said I was pretty you know 
And because they had to tell you, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know, because you know, <laughs> when you're a kid, like, like you don't know what's going on. You got acne, and I don't know. It's yeah. not that acne is bad, but you know what I mean. You're just going through that gross phase, and um, so it really helps me, right, to hear like, oh, like someone, someone from outside of my circle, outside of what I know, finds me attractive. Like, that's yeah. Amazing. And then I got older, started to get a little bit more refined, started to get a little bit more political, started to be a bit more conscious. And, you know, um, catcalling turned into what I felt was more aggressive. And in that, you know, I felt a little threatened. And so when there were times where it was like that, I knew this is harassment. This is inappropriate you know what I mean yeah but I wouldn't have lumped that those types of experiences into cat home because yeah you know for me they're two different things that's I'm exactly the same way I'm like there's yeah separation of church and state (laughs) (laughs) um and and so yeah so and then and then when I moved from America to Australia, where catcalling isn't as common. It's not like, I don't know what your experience is like in the States, but you were there when you were younger, right? I was, but I moved back. Okay. So I have been okay. there when I'm older, but keep going because I'm curious about this. So in the States, I feel like because we're more forthcoming about our feelings and like to compliment yeah. strangers and it's a, that sort of thing is a part of our culture, um, catcalling is more common. In Australia, it's like, I'll just get people who just stare at me, <laughs> you know, for a really awkward long amount of time. Yeah. And then maybe I'll break the silence and be like, sorry, do you need something? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And usually when I say that, they're offended. And then my husband will be like, no, he, he didn't know that we were together and he was hitting on you. You know? And I'll be like, what the fuck? Is that what's happening? This is, I was going to say over here, like, I could count maybe less than like, on one hand, the amount of times I've had a guy actually like hit on me. Exactly. You see? In a bar or yeah. anywhere else. Even like, jerk off their asses. They don't do it. Yeah. No. So, <laughs> the one, no, no, no. The one time I, at least I can remember really distinctly was a construction workers. Um, yeah. We're drilling away and I walked around a corner and the dude's stopped drilling and like he had a team around him he literally (laughs) stopped drilling and he goes hey how's it going and that was like all he could say and And you're like I've got my shit together because am I allowed to swear on this by the way yes yes yes, yes. yeah okay (laughs) and you know exactly like I was like oh my god like and I had a boyfriend then but it had been a while yeah I had, you know what I mean? Like gotten that attention because, you know, I was with my boyfriend, blah, 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 you know, whatever. So I'm like, oh, wow, I still got it. So, and I've now spent six years here, six and a half, I think, years here. And so when I go back home, I actually am really happy about it. Oh, no, I, I'm with you on that one. That's like, yeah. Like, so, Trust me, you haven't been single over here. Try being single over here. It's like misery of. I don't, I, 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 I can see that. I, I've been watching um, Farmer Wants a Wife. I'm like addicted to that show now. Have you watched oh, the show? Maybe I should go on this. Yeah. No, it's I haven't so watched good. it. My dad's obsessed with it though. I'm obsessed with it. It's like, (laughs) your dad has every reason to be obsessed with it. You need to watch his show. It has really helped me understand some of the cultural differences that are there. Because it's like, 
like with the, like the women are more aggressive than the men with what they want, you know, and will say what they want. The men are like, whoa, whoa, I don't know how I feel, (laughs) you know, even though you're hot, you know, it's like, I don't know what's going on, but it, it's a different <laughs> I'm confused. My brain is very confused about what's happening at the moment. Honestly, it's just a difference of culture. And so, so I think, you know, I'm older now, I'm 35, right? Whoops, didn't want to say that, but whatever. <laughs> um, I'm older than you, so. Hey, hey girl, <laughs> we're in the 30, yes, we're in, we're in the club. Um, but I'm starting to feel like maybe this is what, older women you know when people say like ooh, after you reach like 45 like yeah men stop looking at you and they say too like if you're an actor um you sort of stop working at like 40 they stop like if there's a term for it where they basically label old, women who are older than 40 as like invisible and they no longer get oh yeah it's a, it's a real term in hollywood um Here's my thing. Hold on. Sorry to interrupt you. I don't really understand the difference now between like a 22 year old because they seem to have so many like fillers and everything (laughs) between like a 39 year old. They seem to be aging themselves. So is that like impacting the industry a bit or no? I think you're right. Um, Because in any way, culturally, we're living on longer and you know, yeah. like, aren't they saying, like, what, 40 is the new 60? I'm sorry, they're saying 60 is the new 40? The other way. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's like, you're right, but, like, remember people like Meg Ryan? Yeah. So, like, she's no longer, in the, like, she's no longer considered anything because she's got that cute, adorable voice, that cute face. And I think yeah. she's been around for so long and she's aged. Um, people are like, well, you can't play these like 30 year old roles anymore. So you're just dead to us. And it's so freaking sad. She had a whole, her and her, I don't know if he's still her husband anymore, but Antonio Branderas like spoke about this like shitty thing because she's an amazing actress who should be working. And she's, yeah. So. I agree with you. It's harder to tell um, what age people are, especially with with, with surgery and and stuff like that. Or I just like, I'm looking at you and I think you look younger than a lot of the people I see on like Love Island, you know, and they look, they're like 22, but they've got like so many fillers and so many of this. And yeah, it's like a very fine line. You're right. You're right. And I love you for that. And that's why you're on the ship. (laughs) Okay. I I did this strategically. Um, But no, um, yeah, like it's, it's harder to tell, but I think I, 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 it just goes back to what I was saying is like, I can finally feel like I remember when my mom was still alive and, you know, she started talking about, she died when she was 60. But when she was like around 57-ish, she started talking yeah. about like, oh, I wish I could get a little bit of this done, a little bit of this. And yeah. Oh, and oh, it's nice when some, you know, the, the, so-and-so said I looked really nice. And I just kind of heard the heartbreak of a beautiful woman who always was known to be beautiful in that she saw herself as beautiful and other people saw herself, saw her as beautiful. And what it felt like to no longer be considered that kind of beautiful, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of slack from all these like feminists and people who, you know, people on the left. I, for me, catcalling has been a great radar. It's been a great like meter thing for me. And it also has boosted my confidence when I didn't think I had it going on, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm shocked to hear that you also think it's okay. I'm like, (laughs) I'm so relieved because I was like, oh shit. (laughs) 
You know what I mean? I mean, after this conversation, and she's going to be like, yeah, it's wrong. You know, I, I kind of feel like both of us are about to get slammed for this. <laughs> but it's not now, dip, there's a total difference, right? There's a total difference between what I feel like we're talking about versus- A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like there's, you know- yeah. Like I said earlier, when I refer to cat calling, I refer to a honk of a horn or you look nice or a wolf whistle or yeah. someone trying to me in the bar. But if I say no to someone, yeah, that's, that's no. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, um, that's it. So I think there's a very fine line. Well, not a fine line, a very distinctive line. You're there. right. You're right. Exactly. It, it's like if a boundary has been crossed and you literally said, hey, like, that's enough, then that person should be able to respect you enough to, to be like. Agree. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I've read about, um, like, in the past, like, I used to give guys fake numbers just so that I wouldn't have to say I have a boyfriend or I don't like you. Like I would give them fake numbers. Those the days. Days. <laughs> I said those were the days. No, those I'm just the joking. Days. They were yeah. the days because, because rejection hurt. It's uh, yeah. No, you I agree. Like it took a lot yeah. of balls for someone to be like, look, I'm going to approach you or I'm going to beep the horn. Or I know it's a hundred percent. Like I commend guys that, you know, come up and have yeah. the balls to do that. I think it's, Good for you. Exactly. And it's like, you know, they, they're putting themselves out there. So it's, so yeah. there's something that like, okay, like, all right, you got the testosterone thing going on, you know? But like, yeah, yeah like I've read about like these girls who, you know, will say like no and like a dude will just drag them and be like, or like I used to say no, like online dating. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm sorry. I have this whole thing. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you're so nice, but I just don't think we're a match because I just couldn't yeah. say no. I was just yeah. so afraid of that rejection because I knew how bad it hurt. And some yeah. guys would be like, oh, you're ugly anyway. I just wanted a good fuck or something like that. Seems you know like I mean? a really good excuse for online dating. It's like rejection. Yeah. You're hideous. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You know? Thank you. <laughs> God. Um, but I, I've also read like there's a guy who like killed this girl. Like after she was just like, no, like I do not want to be with you. He literally like stalked her and killed her. Like there's a lot of this shit like going on. So I can see why catcalling has turned into a thing where people are starting to talk about it as a form of sexual abuse. But I yeah. really feel like we should differentiate between those two things. Uh, no, I totally agree. And this is, yeah. like I said, last night I had to Google all of this because I was like, when you said catcalling and I was like, yeah, cool. And then I looked it up and I was like, okay, what I'm talking about <laughs> as opposed to what the internet's talking about, totally different things. I got you. I got you. No. Yeah. All right. Well, it's nice we can agree on it. And, um, you know, please, a anyone watching out there, we do not mean to offend anyone. This does not negate all the crazy shit that happens when you tell a man no. Um, yeah. Because it does happen. But, I, you know, I, I do think that there should be a little bit more of a delineation between this. But I don't know. The other thing that women have been saying is that they feel... Um, like disrespected or taken, like like they're not in a position of their own like sovereignty or power, or they don't have agency over themselves because some some guy is like treating them like meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so so some of them, it, it was kind of like to say, like, at one time. He didn't, he didn't cat call me, but like I one time had this professor say in a photo of mine, um, he commented on it and he was like, smile beautiful. 
uh, that, that rubbed me the wrong way. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, go ahead. I, I was gonna say, I've got issues <laughs> with that on my own because I've got natural resting bitch face and get told to smile constantly by strange men. And that rubs me the wrong way. Like, girl, I for just, me, that's that's not a compliment that I'm like, this is my natural face, get used to it. This as, is- As yeah. if like, we're just supposed to be smiling for you. This is, I agree. I agree. So, so again, I think there's this like quite a complex, you yeah. know. Yeah, it is. It is pretty complex. Um, Subject. But but, day, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no. I was just going to say, like, for me personally, like a hi, how are you doing? A friendly beep of the horn or, you know, yeah. is okay. But yeah, I think read your audience. That's another thing. It's like, how do you know? Like, I remember my brother saying like, okay, like now we're entering this whole me too movement. And it's like, should yeah. I kiss the girl? Like if I feel like she wants to kiss me, does that mean that it's a good idea to kiss her or should I ask? And I'm like, wow, what a question. Because yeah. like, you're right. Cause he, he could like go in for a kiss, right? Which is the way we grew up, right? I was going to say a hundred percent, like no one ever asked. <laughs> you don't you, ever. And if they did, it like took away the moment. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, it's, I don't know. It's, I, it's I would just like, it, it's super complicated. Like I personally am glad I grew up when we did yeah mm -hmm. because right now I think it's like confusing to guys and girls yeah. on both sectors of what's okay what's not okay um whereas I think when we grew up it was you knew yeah what was okay and crossing the boundaries I don't know it was it was a little bit Maybe more not. simple. And I think that yeah. the, the reason it might have been a little bit more simple is because we kind of took to gender roles and gender norms. And we were like, yeah. okay, like, I guess men do this and, and women do this. Even if we didn't think that was true, we just kind of went along with society and expected that, you know, women are to be hunted um, and women are to be taken, right? Like yeah. our virginity gets taken, you know, our purity gets taken. So, so we're constantly in this like mode of like, oh, you can kiss me or, oh, you can take, you can take yeah. from me, right? Whereas yeah. I feel like this whole Gen Z and, and this sort of time is more like, no, I have more autonomy over myself. I have more. Yeah agency so you have to ask me if yeah I want to you know but I I swear to God if my husband says to me can I kiss you I'm done I'm not in the mood <laughs> do you know what I mean it's over like I'm like good night I kind of feel like we're about to be called boomers at the moment <laughs> so I, this is... yeah and on that note it has been lovely to be with you, you all too. and lovely to be with you, Kristen. Thank you for, for spending some time with me and chatting with me. Guys, yeah. please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you on the next episode. not my new black.